I'm going to Brazil. Today, we're going to be talking about the Super 7 Reaction Figure Shogun Warriors Rodan. Taking a look at the box, we've... Dear God, that picture. <laughs> As per Super 7 norm, this thing's got a nice little retro tinge to it. I was kind of hoping it would come in a box a lot like the first pressing of their Shogun Warriors Godzilla. I guess Rodan's not good enough for that, huh, Super 7? But hey, uh, for the most part, the box is nice. It's very much eye-catching. This is a web shop exclusive, apparently. It'll probably remain in this very same box until it goes to a wide release, if at all. And yeah, I like it. I'm keeping it. All right, moving on to the figure and paint and... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't do it right now. <laughs> Two hours later. All right, the majority of paint you're going to be seeing on this figure is mostly going to be on this godforsaken pigeon head. Rodan's got a pair of bulbous orange and yellow eyes, and my god. God. Even right here, I feel like he's looking directly into my soul. He knows what I did last summer. <laughs> and he's also going to have this random spurt of orange on the top of his head as well. And the detail on his head is honestly really, really nice. I mean, you can even see his nostrils there which is something I entirely missed in my first run through. Would have been nice if they were fully painted in like the original release, but I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> Just look at the way his skin folds over itself on top of his beak. It's, ooh, it's a little off-putting, but so very cool looking. Articulation spoiler, but his mouth can open, revealing some tiny, tiny little teeth. There really isn't anything going on on the inside of the mouth, just the teeth. And I feel that looks really nice. <laughs> We will have some very nice detailing going on on Rodan's torso, be it the spiky tummy he's got, the random bumps and grooves strewn about here. Really, really nice stuff. And then we're going to move on to Rodan's legs, which are going to give off that armored look to him. Very, very nice details strewn about over here as well. And then we move on to the two-toed feet Rodan has over here. They're going to be a darker color than the rest of the figure with some fungal infection yellow for the nails. And we'll get some more of that yellow and that overall color color on the back as well. And now I can segue into talking about the detail on Rodan's back, which is nice. It's minimal. It looks cheap, and I believe that's the point. And here we have Rodan's wings, which really don't feature too much in terms of detail. I mean, they're not going to feature much paint at all either. But as far as I'm aware, this is very much accurate to the original Shogun Warriors figure. And aside from some obvious gimmicks not being included on this thing, it pretty much is. The the paint, the detail, the overall look and godless vibe to it, it's all there. It looks like the original had like a mouth opening gimmick via a trigger on the back of his neck. There was also some holes in his back as well, might have been for flapping the wings. But when looking over here, you can also see that the head could go down a little bit further and the feet were actually able to be pointed directly downwards, probably to accommodate for a flying pose of such. But yeah, for the most part, from the tip of his head to his wonky eyes, to his wings, everything in between. This seems like a pretty perfect recreation of that original figure, and it really does make me hopeful for an Ultimates release of this guy, just to see this level of ugly godlessness in a bigger format, because, uh, dude, look at these two pictures side by side. This is golden. Rather simple, short, sweet, and to the point, I feel Shogun Warrior's reaction roadie over here is, uh, just fine. Oh yeah, there's detail on the back of the head as well. I completely forgot about all of that. Oh wow, I didn't even notice that. You can actually see his two little fingies over here. Oh yeah, look at that on both sides. Why wasn't that on the front over here? Oh well, I'm not going to complain. Paint and detail wise, I am going to give Shogun Super 7 Rhodey two <laughs> solid stars and a sub rating for just making me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is absolutely hilarious looking. I, I love it so much. If they do an ultimates of this, top. All right, I only just noticed this now, but the teeth are actually going to be painted. I really couldn't tell before because they look mostly the same, but if you look at the bottom of the mouth over here, it's also going to be painted. That doesn't necessarily change the score, but more paint to enjoy. Articulation wise, you can go all the way around at the roadie head over here. Mouth can open about that far and close and just gape like that, probably making him even more intimidating looking. 
the mouth can open up about that wide. The legs can kick forward and likely spin all the way around, so flying poses. Yeah! And then we're going to have hinges at the wings over here. It can flap upwards pretty far, a lot further than I was really expecting. And then they'll have a decent flap downwards over here. It's not by much, but it's obvious enough, you know? When you have them standing like this, you can't really tell unless you got them posed backwards like so, looking like a demented, demonic ass Batman. Another important detail is just that Rodan's wingspan will be around 7.5 inches. And here's what that looks like in front of a DVD box. And here you go if you wanted those official measurements. <laughs> Yet another solid star for articulation. Had a lot more than I was initially expecting. Really wasn't expecting the mouth. I don't pay attention to promo pictures as much as I should. Give me a break. Moving on to size comparison. God. Shogun Rodi over here might be a wee bit smaller than his Shogun Goji brethren, but with the help of that wingspan, this guy's going to be an instant eye catcher, if for that or his very godless looking face and eyeballs. <laughs> I feel the same way about this guy as I do Shogun Goji. They have a particular charm to them for being so ugly, although I would definitely say Shogun Warriors Rodan is much closer to actual Rodan than Godzilla was. I haven't really been keeping up with the reaction line as of late, but every time I get a new one in, I always wonder why. And it's mostly because of the price. Yeah, I think I paid 25 bucks for this thing before shipping, 30 afterwards, so it's a little bit of that, and I really don't have any urgency in picking these things up, but you know, every time I do, I'm just festively surprised with what I get, so maybe this will inspire me to finally get that wave one of the reaction line for Godzilla that Super 7 did. But until then, I am perfectly fine with my ugly show Shogun boys over here. And hey, if you're interested, there will be a link to Shogun Rhodey in the description below if it is still available. The only little thought that's swimming around in my think sack up here is, are we gonna be getting repaints of this? Burning Rodan? Glow in the dark Rodan? Two things completely different? I'll take it, as long as it's only one at a time and not like six at once. At this point, for the people who are actually feeling these Shogun throwbacks and the reaction figures, I imagine most of you have already picked it up. If not, and you're not really interested in them, I don't think this is going to change your mind unless you love cursed looking figures. But I'll gladly welcome this guy into my collection with open arms. That's about going to wrap it up for me on my end, everybody. Nice short little review to end the week off. This rather crammed week, actually. Next week, I'll be going over the two Hammond collection releases I got the other day and the Bandai Planosaurus model kits. And then we'll finally be back on schedule with Doom and more Doom, but the other Doom is Godzilla related. Yes, there's some Doom related Godzilla stuff. Those who know, know. Have yourselves a lovely weekend, play Dead Space Remake. Kill a Necromorph for me because Amazon delayed the delivery of my copy till fucking Tuesday. Anyway, peace.